Hey everyone, Rather Go here, here, back with more Rome to the War Remastered as Germania. Now, right now, Rome looks well and thoroughly fucked, but I actually have so many units here that this one's best use is to get on a boat and go somewhere else. And I definitely want to go wipe out the Julii, but before I come to Sicily, it's probably worth it to just stop at Carthage and raise that to the ground so I'm in the neighborhood. I mean, when I go to Sicily and start trying to unite that area, I mean, I'm sure Lily Balam is still Carthaginian. I doubt the Scipii did anything. They never do. So, I'm in an awkward situation where I'm realizing I'm probably going to just be sacking Carthage in all of my campaigns. No matter how outlandish and random it seems. So, right now, I'm at the end of a turn. Next turn, I have to fight a minimum of four sieges. And I need to mobilize this army against Dacia. So, let's see what happens in the interim and get into the nightmare that next turn is going to be. Alright, so the Broody Eye are sallying forth. I kind of expected them to do this, but it's a terrible, terrible play. Their reinforcements are an actual good army. It's six Estadi and a Principes. But the main town is actually somewhat really good. Two Estadi, two Principes, two family members. Of course, the army they're up against is just probably better. So long as we don't let their cavalry actually do anything crazy, we're going to destroy them. This is a losable fight, but I'm pretty sure we're going to handle this very, very easily. Okay, so their reinforcements are actually coming from directly behind me, which doesn't seem right. Now, the AI is absolutely terrible at moving around the city. Unfortunately, since they're also fucking behind me, I probably don't get to abuse that, and instead I'm fighting a series of field battles. The first thing I need to do is break all of these phalanxes, and then I need to figure out exactly how I'm setting up my infantry line. And I think the answer is that they're not going to do anything in this town for a while. So job number one is just to line up and crush this Roman army before it gets here. So what I'm doing is I'm setting up my phalanx line with these Sam Knights on either side. These Illyrian skirmishers behind them. And then the big thing, just a horde of cavalry pressed all the way up against the side of the map. And we should be able to get in position and kill these reinforcing legions. Like, this is six, or is it seven whole units of Hestadi and Brinkapes. It's very threatening. But if we get it against the edge of the map, held there with phalanxes while I crash in with cavalry, that is fucked. And we can do all of this before they actually get out of the city and mount any meaningful defense. And looking at this, they're not actually, like, rushing to mount that defense by any stretch of the imagination. I would have definitely liked... <sighs> I still actually can't. I'm going to take these two closest phalanxes and start moving them back. And my general as well. Because I should just be setting this up to be a kill zone. I shouldn't be focusing all of my attention here. Now, with regards to what's happening on this edge, I need my line to actually form up before I get into this. And it looks like the enemy is taking their sweet ass time doing anything. So the fact that I mismanaged my units isn't turning out to be a big deal. And I won't even need my general to do this. Now here, they've just like grossly overextended it looks like. First, let me make sure all of these phalanxes are actually, you know, in phalanx formation. Be a damn shame if they weren't. Meanwhile, my skirmishers are in skirmish mode, or not in skirmish mode very importantly, and are at fire at will, so they'll do it as soon as they can. And my spear warbands are going to be set up to get in position and just maul everything coming through the gates. And I actually wasn't completely happy with how I set these up, so I'm going to be doing it again just aimed down the road. If I had done this initially, I'd be under no risk of this ever failing, but I've done it wrong initially, so here we are. I have these Sam Knights move forward to make sure that nothing bad happens to the skirmishers. This should route pretty immediately from a general's charge. Have my general pull back rather than continuing to lose men. Set both of these into phalanx formation and drag them somewhere else so that I know who they are. Oh god, I need to figure out- one second. Whatever this is, I need it to go away and not exist. <laughs> there we go, unit status. I want that off, I hate them. They always get in my way and just make it hard to click things. My Sam Knights broke immediately, like they're prone to doing. So I need to have these Illyrians run down the line to somewhere they're safe. And all of this cavalry get the fuck away so that they actually survive. Um, and I need this to get out of here. I seem to have gotten rid of unit banners by accident. Okay, now the game looks how I want it to look.
And the Asadi here is fighting one edge of a phalanx, that's fine by me. I'm gonna start repositioning these hoplites in the places where they're actually relevant. Going to back off further with this since apparently I have just let it get wildly way too close. Alright. So here I'm just navigating my war chief through. So I can charge them in the rear once they're occupied with other things. You have killed the enemy general. That's probably gonna be real bad for the morale of all the units out here. Now they may turn and run. Attack! Attack! Yeah, so this unit is probably close routing is routing. Right. You guys need to actually run this down. But because I don't have the walls, they're freaking out about that. This is all fine, though. It might be incredibly hard to run this down, but we can still route the whole fucking army. The enemy army runs. Now hunt them down. Okay. So now I just need to move all of these units back up. So first things first, make sure no one's in Phalanx, make sure no one's at Fire at Will. Get all of them running back here. I want all of this to move forward slightly. What on earth? Oh man, sometimes I tell my units to move and then I give them a second move command and it just like snaps in half like it is now. Oh my lord, everything was fine and then I fucking dared to give commands to my units. Break phalanx, break phalanx, just completely reset. Guys, guys, whatever you're doing, stop, please. The battle was completely fine, we were winning, and now you've done whatever this is. Oh my god, they're still spinning. They've been spinning for so long, and they still haven't fucking stopped. Please, sir, get out of the fucking road and get into formation. Oh, no one's spears are down. No one's doing what they're supposed to be. With the exception of my general, I have the cavalry just get out of the way. I don't know why my general's taking upon himself to charge. I appreciate the uh, spirits. But our troops are stupid enough without your help. They're still not fucking in formation. Luckily, I have new units around. So, let's start moving this up into a relevant position. What on earth are you fucking doing? It's been like three minutes. Alright, please try to move up and don't do anything crazy this time. Yeah, I'd be mad too if I were you guys. No! Stop! Stop! Just stay where you are! Just stop! Why are you still randomly doing shit? Oh my god, it's so frustrating. Where are you fucking going?! What the fuck do you think your objective is right now?! Why on earth would you need to go over here?! The last command I gave you was HALT! And this unit's not even anywhere near where it's supposed to be. Oh my god. <laughs> a patch came out today that said they were going to do a couple of things to try to help units in sieges. God, I hope they make a meaningful difference, because this is just unfucking acceptable isn't it? At least it's a meat grinder for them, too. Like, this has been going fucking horrifically, and it's 77 to 33, so I mean... Okay, uh, looks like their cavalry are finally coming out of the city. Although, hilariously, my reaction to that is not that I want to go fight them with my general, but that I want my general to come in here and make this route. Because if my general can push through here and get this unit to route, then what's actually going to happen is I'll be able to kill all of this as I chase them down in the city.
So I'm actually really invested in trying to get this to routes. And rather than getting them to route, what's happening, it's just a clusterfuck. These Equites? Nope, it's two generals. If we can kill even one of their generals with all of these, then it's worth doing. And have we done that already? Yeah, we actually have got him. Of course, my units are going to route instantly because Barbarian Cavalry don't actually have morale. Now over here, you can see that we finally got through this and my general's going into the city. If everyone except my general needs to stop that and get out immediately though. Just break Phalanx and run the fuck back out. Only my general needs to be in the walls. He's going to kill everyone on his own. And here, this is going largely as I expected it to, which is that all of my cavalry are dying in mass and routing, because Jesus Christ, they're terrible units. <laughs> they're only good when they're hitting an exposed flank. If the enemy's not exposed, then you don't want to be fighting with them. Meanwhile, my general will be killing people in the hundreds. Yeah, uh, that general unit's basically all they have left. My general is going to kill literally every routing unit on the map. Well, not the ones that are on my side, I suppose. Alright, I'm going to put this in double speed for a second while I just make sure my general is actually killing everyone. I should be doing this at a different angle so I can watch what their general is doing. Because as long as he's fighting this stuff, I really don't care. So tell all of these units to, uh, like anything that stopped routing around here come to this area. It's up to you. You've got to keep fighting to the death since, you know, you're actually with the general. The oh! Lord shows his Good fucking job, Sam Knights. I had just accepted that they were going to die. die rather than run. You have killed huh. the enemy general. Now his men show fear. Now they may turn and run. Attack! Attack! Well, this has been less than ideal for the Broody Eye, hasn't it? I didn't even have to really use my Phalanx versus general. I wish you guys take wounds there. There we go. Enemy army Everyone's routing. I'm going to continue for a second. I just want to get as many kills on my general as I can at this point. My general, heroic victory. We lose 800, they lose 2,000. But what I want to know, he killed 600 men. Sounds about right. These barbarian cavalry did work too before they routed and broke. So did my Sam Knights. Meanwhile, the Spear of Warbands really didn't do that much on account of just snapping in half the moment I gave them commands. Giving multiple arrow commands back to back before they've finished isn't very good, it tends to break the AI. But I mean, on the other hand, one of the commands I gave was a halt and they tried to fucking leave the battlefield. So I've got nothing, I have no idea. Regardless, we're enslaving their capital. Go, oh, fuck off! Is that literally just a general? Go, oh, stop! It doesn't matter how many times you siege these towns. You need to rally a defense and deal with my armies, or sue for peace, that would probably be preferable. What? <laughs> Why are the Julii up here? <laughs> when did this happen? God damn it, Britannia. Wait, they didn't actually attack, though. Maybe they just didn't get the memo and don't know they lost the land yet. So, there have been a lot of random sieges happening in my land. Not a huge fan of it. Okay, let's check announcements. Turncoat Army. Captain Rando got bribed by the fucking Skippy Eye. If I had known his name was Captain Rando, maybe I wouldn't have left him in charge of an army. Thanks, Skippy Eye. That's super helpful. <sighs> the number of times I've had meaningful shit bribed this game has been very upsetting. I mean, it doesn't stop me. Like, I have more armies here. It's just really fucking annoying, isn't it? Okay, first, what the fuck are you doing here? The faction leader of the Julii is a, the husband that got bribed right now. The fuck is this? Crusader Kings 2? This is stupid. How is this happening? 
<laughs> so they have a faction leader up here because he was the guy who got bribed. Okay. Oh my god, bribing is getting real dumb this game. Alright, so my official plan here is fuck, I didn't build a boat. That's my official plan. Oh, that, this is Tilt City. That unit and this army vanishing. Okay, first, there is an army here. Let's hope they don't randomly get bribed like the last army and send them out. It's particularly upsetting because this army was actually headed into the forest and they still knew where they were to go find them and bribe them. Due to enormous tilt and not caring right now, I'm just going to auto-resolve this. How do you lose 350 men, you incompetent schmucks? Uh, I'm gonna be occupying this, I guess. Oh, well, even though I've occupied them, they still can't retrain anything. Because they auto-resolve also somehow destroyed all of their buildings, despite literally not having the tools to do that. Alright, cool. So, I'm going to condense this and leave behind the wounded soldiers. I say I'm going to condense this and leave behind the wounded soldiers, but I just actually absorb the wounded soldiers together. So instead I'll be leaving behind one unit of damaged skirmishers to be repaired at a later date. They are completely fine with this, although I will be needing to tear down the shrine to their god. And build a new one, I guess the population growth one. And continue on. Now, I'm going to send this towards Naro Martius, because I have to relieve this siege and take over the Conquering myself, I guess. Here, I'm building a boat. I'm going to kill this rebel, just because I need to do something to pass the time. Can I retrain all of this here? <sighs> Probably, but I should fight this battle for real, because this army is trash. Okay, so I need to fight this battle, this battle... How's Torrentum doing? I probably need to do stuff here. Definitely need to tear down the shrines to their gods. Build one to one of my own. Torrentum's actually a city, so I can theoretically recruit a shrine to Donar here and make barbarian berserkers at some point in the distant future. All of my cavalry is heavily depleted. Um, a unit of cavalry should have how many men in it? 108. So I literally can't bring any cavalry together. No, I can bring this one and get one full unit. It's for my Spearmen. Sam Knights have been heavily depleted as well. So if I leave behind everything that can't be completed, then that'll be the garrison. And they are pissed. They are so mad. Even at low taxes. But I will be recruiting more units. Drastically more units, in fact. Oh my god, I can make Noble Cavalry here. And it's only one turn to do it. So does that mean there's a tier 2 stables here? There is. Hot damn. If Tower Hintum riots, that's fine. I can deal with that for a turn. Just like in my Julia game, the Broody I just have a stock next to Macedonian Apollina, and they're never going to do anything with it because they're going to be dead before they get a chance to bring it home. So, that's Croton under siege. Is this auto resolvable? Probably. And also, it will probably suffer massive wounds that doesn't need to if I auto-resolve it. I don't have the population to waste. Just going to recruit Spear Warband here and hope that it can beat his general when it charges through the gate. I'm not going to. Well, he's never going to siege, is he? Huh. This is a very awkward situation. Yes, so, first things first, this army's fighting Dacia. It's got to go south. And we'll actually have time to recruit more units and bring them in, because I have to go west and deal with this first. I look forward to this army getting bribed too, because armies just don't last very long in this campaign. Yeah, the balance of power here is actually even, and that feels accurate to me. And unfortunately, despite having five family members, I don't feel great about it, because they have four. I'm going to do this next video, I'm going to do the easy fights now. So, first, let's kill these fucking rebels, that's the easiest fight on the map. So I've just lined up all my spearmen in a huge fuck-off phalanx wall. I'm moving my cavalry around on the flank to start destroying them. But before any of that can happen, my spearmen need to walk slowly into the enemy formation. Next, I'm going to have these axemen go out wide on the flank to attract attention. If I remember correctly, this army's trash, right? Townwatch, Velites, Peasants, Hestadi... Bellates, led by a general. So first things first, let's get the route going. 
Because I'm pretty sure when I crash into this exposed flank, they just retreat immediately. They have more or less zero morale. Yeah, that's two units routed immediately. This war chief can just hunt down the fleeing units. I don't actually need to fight. Like, if they're going to just reposition while I kill the runners, that's fine by me. Looks like their general is going for my line. Please actually chase them down. I'm doing all of this so that you can get experience, you asshole. Oh my god, he's so fucking incompetent. Let's see if he'll actually kill this unit. Oh hey, figured it out this time. All of this continues marching forward. You charge this. We may as well route these peasants, and they'll be routed before the general even gets there, so I'll have the general kill these velites instead. Please do not stay there and take the charge. Meanwhile, my axemen are busy fighting a single horse. It just feels deeply frustrating that the AI seems to be operating by different path pathfinding rules. When my axemen catch one of his horses, it stops the whole unit of axemen. But if I were to do the opposite, I don't think that would happen. I think they would just keep charging and my horse would actually cause my whole unit get caught. I actually have these barbarian cavalry that can't fight the general anyway break off to run down these uh, velites or peasants, whatever they are. Meanwhile, I have this huge phalanx that just really isn't relevant, is it? Warlord shows his worth. Nothing. Any of our warriors would die rather than run. The enemy warlord. This is a great victory. The cries of dying enemies are sweet music to our warriors. Despite killing 277 men, he didn't get any chevrons from that. That is very surprising to me. All right, so next time I'm going to handle the sieges of Mediolanum and Capua and try to recover from the fact that all my armies are being bribed and turned against me. Because the real strength of Rome is not its armies, but its infinitely deep pockets. Also apparently true of Gaul, but whatever. Anyway, this has been Rather Coherence. I hope you enjoyed the video, though I'm sorry it's been a short one. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that YouTube jazz, and I'll see you around.